had a recent trip to Monkey World. I was surprised to hear the sound of French voices. Perhaps they didn't know that it hadn't always been safe to be a monkey or a Frenchman in England. But maybe that's just the northeast of England. Legend has it that during the Napoleonic Wars of the early 19th century, a shipwrecked monkey was hanged by the people of Hartlepool, believing him to be a French spy. To this day, people from Hartlepool are simply known as monkey hangers. French ship was spotted sinking off the Hartlepool coast. Suspicious of enemy ships and nervous of possible invasion, the good folk of Hartlepool rushed down to the beach, where amongst the wreckage of the ship they found the only survivor, a ship's monkey, which apparently was dressed in a military, military style uniform. Hartlepool is a long way from France, and most of the populace had never met or even seen a Frenchman. Some satirical cartoons at the time pictured the French as monkey-like creatures with tails and claws. So perhaps the locals could have been forgiven for deciding that the monkey, in its uniform, must be a Frenchman and a French spy at that. There was a trial to ascertain whether the monkey was guilty of spying or not. However, not unsurprisingly, the monkey was unable to answer any of the court's questions and he was found guilty. And the townsfolk then dragged him into the town square and hung him until he was dead. So is the legend really true? Did the good folk of Hartlepool really hang a poor, defenceless monkey? There could perhaps be a darker side to the tale. Maybe they didn't actually hang a monkey, but a small boy, or powder monkey. Small boys were employed on warships of this time to prime the cannons with gunpowder, and they were known as powder monkeys. Whatever the truth, the legend of Hartley Paul and the Hanged Monkey has endured for over 200 years. But if I was a Frenchman, I wouldn't take a chance. <laughs>